Hey guys, welcome to Demolition Ranch. This is a continuation of our microwave series. And uh, after I posted the first episode of this series, um, some commenters said that there's already a YouTube channel that does a microwave series. It's called, um, Is It a Good Idea to Microwave This? And I never heard of them, um, but they've pretty much done everything already. I mean, they have like 300 episodes, so I don't want to copy everything they've done. So if you want me to do other stuff, try to think of unique things or more creative things to microwave, and uh, I'll do those so I'm not just copying things that are already on YouTube. But let me show you what I have set up over here for our next test. Since I'm getting into things that are a little more dangerous, I went ahead and built a microwave bunker out of cinder blocks and dirt. You can see there, there's a little microwave down in here. Cinder blocks are full of dirt, so should stop a bullet, and that's what I'm gonna be putting in this microwave. This week, we're gonna be shooting Federal 22 long rifle rounds. These are not blanks, these are live rounds, and this has been done on YouTube, I already know that, but I kinda wanna start small. Next week, we're going to move up to the 12 gauge shotgun rounds. These are birdshot, and then we have one slug. It's a one ounce slug, and people have done these on YouTube as well. Then the next week, we're going to move up to this. This is a 50 BMG round, commonly shot out of a Barrett M82A1, like the one that we use here. And uh, this, from what I can find on YouTube, has never been done, so this will be exciting. All right, I'm going to go put the 22 long rifle shells in the microwave, turn it on for about a minute, and then I'm going to run back here. I'm sure they're not going to fire out of the microwave even, and definitely not through the cinder blocks, but I'm still kind of scared, so I'm going to be overly cautious and hide behind my truck. So uh, here we go. I'm just going to dump all these shells out on the plate in here. Close it. One minute. I'm gonna get the heck out of here. Now we wait. There it is. Didn't sound like anything happened. Doesn't look like anything fired. Let's do it for five minutes. I see smoke coming out of it, so I assume the door's open, but they're still popping, so I'm going to unplug the extension cord over here and just let it sit for probably another five or ten minutes, um, just in case any of were hot enough to go off, and uh, then I'll go in and take a look. A lot of smoke coming out of there. Looks like most of them popped. I'm gonna give them about five more minutes to cool down before I touch them. Here is the aftermath. And as you can see, some of these things are totally exploded. Pretty cool. There's powder and residue all over. The microwave, no bullet holes in it. The door survived. Took a little nick right there. Um, that looks about it. Oh no, there's another one. Right up there, another hit, but nothing uh, even dented the outside of the door. There's another one right there. But um, a lot of these things made it, looks like, and that one's got a chunk out of it. Looks like one of the explosions hit that. Scratch the lead a little bit, but pretty cool. 
I don't think I'm going to do the 12 gauge uh, next week. I think I'm going straight to the 50 cal. So y'all tune in next week and uh, we will see what a 50 BMG does in a microwave. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch.